the one with the cactus on it. A smiling succulent with a hat. Yes. I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... I see. Uniform is wartime issue. Modified for use in eco-pod fortification. Vineland, no? Then you must be... Yes. Second generation artist. How fascinating. Vineland, yes. I'm pretty much what's left of it. Hmm. You check out. Hold on, and I will let you in. Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past. Original Arkist, pre-Apophis. They say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup, uh, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. Just legs. <clears throat> my research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machine, as it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. It makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead? Oh no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to... But, alas, no. It was a massacre. An unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man, General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. He and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Prowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can. Better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15 is still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The ecopod's still in orbit. Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a 
miscalculation. Remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it. To siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm. Yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. Nanotrite strains can grant you superhuman powers, but the arcs that held them have largely disappeared. I happen to have tracked one down not far from Vineland. You should investigate. Dr. Kvasi, about these nanotrite powers. Yes, many rangers in the past were wary of them, but you seem unafraid. And for good reason. Why would you fear remapping your nervous system in unexpected ways? Doctor? What? Oh, yes. The nanotrite strains were locked away in the Ark, so as not to fall into the Authority's hands. They are highly powerful, unstable, and wonderful. Is there any danger in using them? Of course, but to defeat the Authority, you must take some risks, no? You must become more than human. The rest, we can solve after our enemy is defeated. Space Center. Ah, yes. It might be overrun by road scum, come to think of it. But that will be no problem for a ranger. No problem at all. Destination reached. Standby mode initiated. Doctor, I made it to the Space Center. It's in ruins, and like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Best palm to hand scan in the reception desk. Excellent. Now, allow me to give you full access. Hey, Doc, better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. Wait and hold. I have it almost. I almost have it. Just give me a few more minutes. Tricky system, this, even for me. I am just about to break on through.
President? Huh, I like the sound of that. Ah, yes. Better to take no chances. Now you have full access. President, the Ecopod mission control is on the third floor. Mr. Threat has been notified. Mr. President, welcome to Eden Ecopod Mission Control. Made it, Doc. Excellent. Now. Look for the central computer. You will initiate the recall procedure for Eco-15. Still in orbit. Recall sequence approved. Beginning Ecopod recall. Thank you, Mr. President. May you bring about a new Eden. The Ecopod has entered the atmosphere. Onboard temperature readings indicate thermal shielding is uniform. Elevator's still running. So far, so good. Here we are. You have found it. Turn it on and let me handle the rest. The big supercomputer will soon be dancing to Kvasir's tune. It's 
all powered up. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic. The Dagger Project will now... I am getting a reading from outside the Ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in on your location. I'll take care of them. Said. Doc said, authority mutants. Shouldn't be a problem. Mutants are no longer a threat. You're good to go. Ah, so swiftly, too. You surely are proudly success. Right. And now you're gonna get to finishing up your part of Dagger? Yes, indeed. With this setup, it will be a breeze. Plus, plus, I will have ample time to prepare other feats of science which will be beneficial to you. Like? Ah, different projects of a scientific nature, all of which will help you get stronger and tougher, and ultimately be able to, how do you say, kick the authorities' butt? Sounds good to me. I thought you said the Eco-15 supercomputer was all you needed. I have completed the serum sequence. It is ready to do its job. But it does not know what to work on. You see, I need to program it with a string of General Cross's own DNA. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you have a knack for mind reading, no? Nope. I'm just seeing a pattern. It, it is, is amusing. 
Uh, the DNA you need is stored in the old Authority Genetic Research Station, where the wicked Dr. Bendros would perform his obscene experiments. There they stored all DNA from all the Authority, including Cross. They will certainly have reacquired the facility for their projects. But hopefully you can, how you say, blast your way in? That's what I do. Blast into things. Yes, I know. That is why you are perfect for the job. Such an expert. Blaster. You knew I was gonna... Yes. Goodbye. Say bye to the ranger. Doc, I'm approaching the genetic research station in the Dune Sea. Good, good. Listen now. I went through all protocols. Found there that the authority, in case of crisis, planned to use hostile Arcus for their experiments there. I'm not making Please. promise, but it is likely that this is where they took your people of Island. I better hurry. Can't waste any time. Wait a minute. Did you? Yes. Thor senses. Yes, I found. Doc, I made it. I'm inside. Wonderful. Then proceed to locate the DNA banks. And maybe Vineland people. Maybe. Doc, I found him, just like you said. There's a whole bunch of my people here. Lie. Yes, I thought that they might be. Their biomass is used for the longevity project. You should get them out of there. And if you cannot, kill them like cattle. They are too valuable to our enemy. You really think I would do that? Being a super scientist, you're pretty dumb. Hello? Hello? You are breaking up! If you cannot save them, then kill them! Hello? It's a ranger! A live ranger! Hell yeah! The rangers are here! That's right. What did they do to you? They took us one by one behind the red door. I'm next. I'm back. I'm back. What's beyond there? Get yourself out of here. Head back the way I came. I'm here to end this. Doc, I'm seeing some pretty unsettling stuff here. I think this is where they're making the clones you talked about. The longevity project. Yes, my assumptions were correct again. You should look for a sample of the good general's DNA and bring it to me so I can put an end to this obscenity. I'm heading inside to look for it. Yes. Crowley's pointless protege. Slaying her as I did was unrewarding. I shall take my time with you. 
savor every last moment of your pain. Come and get it. I think I've got a big enough DNA sample for you. Let me bring it in. Excellent. Forward to getting my hands on it. Most of us were already processed, turned into biomass for the authorities' experiments. Vineland is pretty much leveled, but there's hope. Lily's there, taking care of business. You should head there and help rebuild. We'll do that. Rebuild what was lost. We can never thank you enough for coming back for us. Hey, I'm a ranger. That's what rangers do. I hope it's important, young ranger. Here it is. DNA sample. I guess this will put us ahead of the competition. I understand that it was tempting to do this pun, but this is a gray matter. We cannot start celebrating yet 
There is simply no time for such skullduggery. This is our crowning achievement. Well, now, place the sample in the extractor. Now, I've extracted the DNA from the specimen. There! The serum is now complete. It will, without a doubt, put an end to the longevity project. But of course, without the two other pieces of puzzle for Project Dagger, the serum is essentially worthless. You cannot gain entrance into the Authority's headquarters to administer the serum without them. It's not gonna be a problem, Doc. 